Hello and welcome gorgeous Scorpio to your monthly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that spirit would like to bring through for you. We have a card that has just flipped out there that's important. So it's important that you listen to your intuition throughout the reading and just take what resonates and leave what doesn't resonate. You might see a sign or a symbol, a message on one or several of the cards if you do take notice of that. It is a message direct from spirit to your situation. So let's see what your first card here reveals. The freedom of truth. Communicate honestly. Be who you truly are. Okay, so this month is going to bring about a circumstance where you're needing to be honest, real. You're needing to communicate authentically and be who you truly are in a in a circumstance this month. So freedom of tr the freedom of truth. Um, I'm also seeing here that the truth and um, truth may come into question perhaps in a relationship and you're going to find out the truth. There will be a reveal of the truth to you, which will in fact free you from some shackles that have been on you. Okay, powerful energy is coming through there. And this card here. I actually pulled up two, so I will take two cards. This was the other one. And this one here as well. Interesting. Okay, let's take a look then at this one. The Creative uh, Solutions card. Think outside the box. View things from a higher perspective. Okay, so that may be important for you. Place this energy where it fits for you, Scorpio. Know that a creative solution is coming for a problem or an issue. You may need to take the higher perspective to gain that creative solution. And a caring community is also around you currently or coming in for you participate and belong and enrich your life so i'm seeing a connection here that's very strong with others people of like minds you're holding hands meaning there is a strong bond between you and others now i'm seeing the unicorn energy coming in which is your guardian angel facilitating the meeting facilitating your communication and connection with others this month and this card here uncalled relationships let go now forgiveness is freedom okay so going back to freedom we have that coming through twice the message is important this month for you freedom maybe a truth is going to uh, give you an awareness to let go and uh, forgiveness may be necessary as well uncorded relationship this may mean romantically but it doesn't have to be romantic maybe a relationship friendship that you have that your feeling is coming to an end or is coming to an end or is changing and you're needing to uncord um, the connection in some way okay so let's take a look now at this deck of cards now this is a deck that reveals messages from a past over loved one. So if you would like a message from a past over loved one, then you can think of this um, loved one now. I have become one of your guides. So you have a beautiful presence around you. You may be able to feel it. Um, that is a past over loved one and they are one of your guides in life now. They have taken up the role of guide for you. Beautiful for you to know that. It is not your fault. Maybe there is a circumstance or situation that you're going through at the moment where you're blaming yourself or this is confirming that in fact it is not your fault or it's to release a burden that you've had on you for some time where you feel guilty very powerful so those are the messages from your loved ones that would like to come through today let's take a look at this deck now scorpio The snake energy, live according to your divine essence. So this is being true to your nature in a circumstance. So going back to the energy of being who you truly are is important this month. 
The snake does mean that you may have a snake in your midst, meaning someone who does not have your best interests at heart. That may be the case. So there could be a caution or a warning here. You may know exactly who this person is already. The tiger, accept your magnificence, which is tying into again, being who you truly are, accepting your magnificence, accepting your uniqueness. It's very special. You have a special gift to give the world. Let's see here what this deck reveals. Guidance for Scorpio, please. I also see, and I will mention with the Tiger card, that you may have praise for your efforts or reward or recognition for something that you have done or said. Archangel Energy. Trust your own wisdom. You can trust your own wisdom above and beyond what someone else is saying to you. Have faith in your psychic impressions because it is true and real and not leading you astray. In fact, your passed over loved one here might be reaching out to you and giving you psychic impressions. Seraphim energy. Relax and open up to source. Relax and open up to spirit. Keep your heart open. So a focus on the heart chakra this month is important. Beautiful. And also understanding that whatever this is, whatever is not your fault, whatever your passed over loved one is saying here, I feel it's connected into being able to keep your heart open. It's not your fault. Keep your heart open. Release what the, the burden, release the guilt, release what is holding you back. And keeping your heart closed. The ego. Okay, so this is a Capricorn's card. So you may have a Capricorn in your life, perhaps. The illusion of being trapped. You are in fact not trapped in a circumstance, although it might seem like it at the moment. Placing too much importance on material items, being wrapped up in the material world and not really focusing on the spiritual side of things. Getting caught up in fear and worry is also the ego's domain. So perhaps that's what's been happening and Spirit's bringing it to your attention this month so you can release it. The Prince of Spring, immediate action is needed. So you'll need to leap into action or there's something coming to you that's very abundant and it will come in very fast. An unexpected windfall of some kind. This is a blessing that is real. A challenge you can successfully manage. And a passionate relationship may also be something you're focused on this month. The three of winter does speak to heartache, heartbreak. Your head and your heart not working together. Your heart is saying one thing, but your mind is saying another. And it's causing tension and disruption and an unsettled feeling inside you. Perhaps reach out to others for comfort and love. You will grow stronger from this situation, whatever it is that is causing this disruption. Sadness that will heal with time. Your ego may also be wanting you to take something badly, to um, keep you in a cycle or, or emotions that are keeping you at a lower vibration. The four of winter, set aside your concerns for now. You can make a decision later. It's about rest, recuperation, hibernation and withdrawal. What are you withdrawing from this month, Scorpio? Perhaps you're not sure at the moment, but it will become clear as the month progresses. Solutions that come from meditation and the need for more sleep or a vacation as well. That may be indicated for you. The king of spring, a financial windfall. Like I, I was feeling earlier in the read, there's an unexpected windfall. A financial windfall may be the case for you. Your leadership skills are needed now. 
So maybe this、um, financial windfall is tied into you getting a promotion or a leadership role at work, for example.、Um, an unexpected supporter of your cause is there as well, and it will be obvious who this is. Now your mind wants to play tricks on you for some reason. There's unfounded fear, focusing on worst case scenarios, and allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the problem. So just watch this energy. Meditation, withdraw from a toxic situation, may be needed. So let's take a look at the pendulum now. If you have a question you'd like to ask Spirit through the pendulum, you're quite welcome to think of that now. And the answer is yes. So check in with your intuition. See how this resonates for you. You can trust your own intuition with this answer. It's been wonderful to read for you today. I hope spirit has come through clearly for you. Take care. Stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.